and I'm going to continue my series on the native hickories in the lower Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, and Appalachian region. According to most of the range maps, there appears to be five species. We'll see what comes along. I've got two on the books already, the shag bark and the shell bark. And some of these other ones without the shaggy and shelly bark are a little hard to tell apart. Including the one in front of me here. This could easily be mistaken for a white ash. Or even a tulip poplar. But it is a hickory. And this is a bitter nut hickory. Bitter means that nuts are not palatable. But they are still edible according to the guidebooks. And they're much smaller than the other hickory nuts. I've got a... Um, Nut from this year just fell to the ground and a U.S. currency dime in the view here. So this nut is not much bigger than a dime, maybe the size of a nickel. <coughs> so the size alone will help identify the nut of the tree that it's underneath. It also has a pronounced X in the um, shell that sticks out like a ridge. So that X that you see there is actually sticking out, probably a sixteenth of an inch. So you can kind of feel it as you put your hand around the nut. And I've been working on trying to learn this type of tree for several weeks. And several of the nuts that I find are really the only way I can tell this tree from its cousin, the pig nut, and the mocker nut. Even though the leaves are different. In a mature wood, you can't see the leaves, so you got to go by bark alone with these bigger trees. And that's what I'm finding mostly. The shade of this bark is quite a bit lighter than the pig nut and the mocker nut and the other varieties of hickory. It is more of a wood ash color, a light yellow hue, almost the same hue as you would find in a chinka pin oak. So the hue of the bark and the nuts help me identify this tree because the leaves are far from view.